How to bring meaning to an unstructured content with the help of LLM. How to convert the unstructured data into a structured data with the power of LLM. That's exactly what we're going to see today. Let's get started. I'm really excited to show you about how to convert unstructured data into a structured data using Pydantic. This is an extension of my previous video. So I will link the previous Pydantic videos in the description below. In today's session, we are going to input a data. The data is about Cricket World Cup finals, the winner, winner scores, runner up and other details. We are going to make this unstructured data into a structured data. So to do that, first we are importing OpenAI. Next, we are importing instructor from Pydantic import base model. Next, from typing import generic type variable. Next, we are defining a data type. This is a specific data type to extract all the key value pairs. Next, we are doing instructor.patch to patch the OpenAI completions. Next, we are defining a class about generic detail and providing the base model and the generic data type. And we are returning all the data from the content. Now, we are going to open the cricket file, cricket.txt and then reading the file. Now, as usual, we are going to define the OpenAI chat completion dot create and defining the data type as generic detail. Here we are providing the model name GPT 3.5 turbo. Next, we are providing the response model as a generic detail. Here we tell the large language model, the structure of the data should be like this. Next, we are providing messages, open and close the bracket. There as a system message, I'm telling the large language model to extract the winners mainly. And as a user, I'm providing the cricket text, which I've extracted here. Next, I'm going to print cricket. That's it. As simple as that. First, you're importing OpenAI. Next, instructor. This is used to patch the OpenAI completion. Next, the base model. This will validate the response type from the large language model. Next, we are defining the data type. In the class, generic detail, we are asking the large language model to return the data in this format. Next, reading the cricket.txt file and then adding that in the content. Now I'm going to run this code. In your terminal, activate the virtual environment which we created in the previous video. Pip install Pydantic OpenAI Instructor and click enter. Next, export the OpenAI API key and click enter. Now you can run Python app.py and click enter. Now we can see we got a response and it is a structured data. Initially, we provide unstructured data. Now you can see the data, that is the data type we requested, data equals, and then you got all the values here in a structured format. That's it, as simple as that. I'm going to continue with more videos in regards to Pydantic, so stay tuned. I regularly create AI related content in my YouTube channel, so do have a look. I hope you like this video. Do like, share and subscribe, and thanks for watching.